Hey, welcome to Magic Monday. So when I was growing up, lava lamps were a big thing. You plugged them into the wall and it was a lamp, but there was this uh, lava thing going on where bubbles would rise and fall. And they were just mesmerizing. So today we're gonna make a lava lamp um, at home. So you can give it a try too. So what you're gonna need is um, a container. I'm gonna use a bottle because that way I can seal it up and play with it even after it's done doing its thing. But you can just do it in a, in a glass. The taller the better because then the, the bubbles will rise and fall. So what you're gonna wanna do is first um, fill your container with uh, like a vegetable oil. Any type of oil will do. And so I'm gonna do this over the sink. I put it into a liquid measuring cup just to um, help me not spill. If you had a funnel like I do at school, that would be even better. But I don't have a funnel here at home, so I'm just going to do the best I can. So the larger the container you have, of course, the more oil it's going to take. Oil's well, not too expensive, but you're not going to want to use your mom's super expensive olive oil for this one for sure. So you're going to fill it at least a half to two thirds with um, oil and then you're going to fill it a little bit more with water just to kind of to top it off. But you want to make sure that you have a good two inches or so at the top for the reaction to take place. So as it sits there, you can see lots of bubbles and things happening. Oil and water don't mix. They're um, two different types of um, molecular structure, the way they're put together. So um, you can see them start to, starting to separate now. So we, we say that the water is denser than the oil. So the water is going to fall to the bottom and the oil is going to settle up at the top. Okay, so now I'm going to add some food coloring. I'm going to choose blue, so I'm going to add about 10 drops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is fun in itself, watching the drops flow through. So they're heavier too, so they're going to sink down to the bottom. And now for the magic. So um, we're going to put in some Elka Seltzer tablets. Now Elka Seltzer is going to react with the water. It's going to produce a carbon dioxide. And you know all about carbon dioxide, it's a gas. So you can almost guess what's going to happen. The Alka-Seltzer is going to sink down to the bottom because it's heavy. It's going to start dissolving. The gases are going to um, gather themselves onto the colored water and uh, we'll get some magic. So here we go. Okay. How cool is that? Mesmerizing. You could watch this for hours. And then when they slow down or stop, you can just add some more Alka Seltzer. So you've got carbon dioxide, which is a gas, grabbing onto that colored water carrying it up to the surface. The bubble pops, the gas releases, and then the colored water um, drops back down. All right. If you make your mixture in a plastic, an old water bottle, um, what's cool about that is when you're done with your lava lamp, you can screw the lid on really tight, and then you have this cool ocean thing that you can play with. So hours of entertainment. And again, the water and oil won't mix. It's fun to shake it up and try and get them to mix, but then you'll watch them settle out again. And if you want to make a lava lamp again, just go ahead and drop in your Alka-Seltzer, and you'll have a lava lamp all over again. If 
you don't have Alka-Seltzer at home, I've got another idea for you. I'll put that over there and let it do its thing. So this time I'm going to take um, a small jar and I'm going to fill it about two thirds of the way with water. So this one actually has more water in it than oil. Okay, so it's about two thirds of the way with water and then the rest of it is going to be oil. Make sure you leave that couple inches at the top so a reaction can take place. And this one you're just going to use plain old table salt. So maybe something that you have more uh, available around the house. Just add a little table salt. Now the table salt is going to be heavier than the um, water and the oil. So it's going to sink down to the bottom. And then you're going to get that same bubbling effect. So it's not quite as exciting as the first one that I did, but it still, um, still gives you the effect. You can add some food coloring just to make it even prettier. Let's add a little more salt. So not as many bubbles, but still fun to play with. All right, guys, I hope you give that a try at home. Have fun. Um, tell me um, if you do this and how it works out on Seesaw.